Alright guys, welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Uh, so I guess we're gonna go around since we did another mission. We'll just uh, research whatever I have here. Uh, all this is crap. Med bay, no. Armor, no. Weapon. Ah, submachine gun damage, of course. Did we get anything else with that? Ah, did we, did we get 50% uh, submachine gun damage against shields and biotic barriers. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, is there anything else? Nope. Alright. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to go talking to literally everybody, so we'll talk to the new guy, and then we'll go off the ship again. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Yeah, I figured. Glad you're okay. Uh, this is Kate Bowman. We're having a big celebration for the anniversary for you and others. We're saving Terra Nova. Uh, okay. Appreciate help, Liz Elizabeth Baniam. So, this is a related to Zeus Hope. Oh, uh, the Thorian, of course. I, I want to go back there. Eugenia said this would reach you. It's Martin Burns. I won't lie to you, I took this job. Alright, this guy doesn't really tell me much. Just skimming through some of it, as I said. It's the video is possible if you want to see it yourself. It's really not that interesting all the time. But yeah, we'll see. Alright, here's Stain. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable even to other Drell. It's called Keprel Syndrome. Are you going to be all right until the end of the mission? I should be fine for another 8 to 12 months. The more time I spend in human environments, the faster it progresses. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, we'll be victorious. Or dead. Either way, I won't be a burden to you. What exactly is the problem? My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hanar homeworld. It's very humid and rains every day. Our lungs can't deal with the moisture. Over time, the tissue loses its ability to absorb oxygen. It becomes harder to breathe. Eventually, we suffocate. Can't they do something about that? The Hanar have funded a genetic engineering program. They should be able to adapt us. The project has only been running for a few years. I don't believe my body will still draw breath by the time it bears fruit. Then don't live on Kaji, or use breathers. Drill have a close relationship with the Hanar. We rely on each other. The best we can do is keep our homes very dry inside. You don't act like a dying man. You have the advantage there, Shepard. You've already died. Perhaps later you can give me some suggestions. I can do nothing to alter my fate. One advantage of my training is that I've always, to some degree, considered myself dead. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. Edgy. Do you need something? You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the Collectors. Do you have any leads I could chase down? My old contact network often located rare equipment for me. Would you like me to get in touch with them? Let's see what they've got. Oh, okay. Uh... We, oh, modular probe array. Uh, more probes. Okay. Not really a great one. Need something. You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. Uh. The Drell live on the Hanar homeworld, don't they? Yes. I know many think the Hanar are difficult to understand. It's just that they're very formal with those they don't know. We know them quite well. If you ever get close enough to a Hanar that they tell you their soul name, you would find them warm. I thought that Hanar only let very close friends know their soul name. Most of my commissions were for Hanar. I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. A Hanar known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancers. Hanar talk using bioluminescence. That's more of an obstacle than their politeness. True. Many Drell have had their eyes genetically modified to perceive their higher frequency flashes. I had the treatment. I can't tell the difference between a dark red and black, but I can see ultraviolet light as a silver color. 
When you pray for the wicked, who exactly are you praying to? That depends on the circumstance. To find my target, I speak with Emon Kira, Lord of Hunters. When I act to defend another, Arashu, goddess of motherhood and protection. And when I have taken my target, I speak with Kalahira, goddess of oceans and the afterlife. Oceans and afterlife don't seem to have much in common. Consider, the ocean is full of life, yet it is not life as you and I know it. To survive there, we must release our hold on land, accept a new way to live. So it is with the death. The soul must accept its departure from the body. If it can't, it will be lost. I didn't know that Drell had many gods. It's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now, or the Asari philosophies. The old ways are dying. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering orbital strikes, or alien races. There's something else I'd like to talk about. Ask. I should go. I shall return to my meditations. Alright, well. He's edgy and weird. So, we got ourselves some upgrades. Oh, we need to go feed the fish, of course. How could I forget? I'm gonna forget at one time. Alright, we've done that. Can I tell her to feed my fucking fish yet? I'm gonna have to try to do that. We need to we need her to feed the fish. This is an important job, Chambers. Commander. Jack's tattoos are beautiful. As colorful as her past, I'm sure. I have concerns with her temper though. You have worries about Jack? I know she'll be solid under fire, but her attitude suggests deep personal issues. She pushes people away, yet approaches sex casually. I don't think she understands her own motivations. I wouldn't be surprised if she makes advances on you. If you want her respect, think twice. Don't worry, Jack's a big girl. She'll be just fine. I hope you're right. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Fuck, we can't do that. I better go. Okay, maybe we'll talk later. I heard him talking about Morden. So I will go talk to Morden. Shepard, important news. Know you're busy. Have to deal with the collectors. Planning attack. Too important to wait. Just receiving data. Still processing, analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. You remember our talk? My work on genophage modification? Why don't you refresh my memory? Personally, led a team, created new version of genophage, released it onto Chanka, other colonies, re-stabilized Krogan population. Nice job. I could see why Cerberus brought you on board. Very difficult, yes. Complex work to stabilize population. Mistake could have wiped out species. Glad to see you understand. Had to be done. The Krogan would be a danger to the whole galaxy if the genophage was cured. Exactly. Best solution for everyone, even Krogan. Can discuss more later. More pressing issue now. Blood pack mercenaries captured former team member. Malin, last seen on Tuchanka, might torture him, make an example. Recovering Malin would be a personal favor to me. Do you think they found out your team updated the genophage? Unclear. No way to determine until we get to Tuchanka. We'll go to Tuchanka and see if we can find your team member. Appreciate it. My assistant, my student, want to see him safe. Malin last seen outside Erdnod territory. Scouts might have seen Blood Pack. Talk to them or Clan Chief. Alright. Well, we're not going there now. Anyone else? No messages for you, Commander. Alright, I don't think anyone else wants to talk to me. I don't really want to talk to anyone else either, though. So what's my limit right now for, uh... Probes? 60? Fuck yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll go back to Ilium. Uh, Alright, so what does he even get as abilities? Throw Warp Shutter Ammo. Alright, utterly useless. Because two of his abilities don't even work uh, when they have uh, defenses up. So. Uh, oh yeah, we got two squad points. I'm going to probably start sinking into uh, uh, operative over here. And what else do we get? So we can get... Further increases weapon damage and focus while in sniper zoom. Oh. And then one of them is uh, reduces power recharging time while increasing duration also increases uh, Paragon and Renge bonuses. Yeah, I don't know what, which one I'd take for that. Alright, I guess you can start doing Tarian stuff. 
and this one too. Alright, that's pretty good. Oh shit, just kind of like randomly fucking spawned over here. Um, fuck, do we really have to walk here every time? Oh, well, whatever. Commander, a pleasure to see you again. Can I help you with something? No. Thank you. Have a pleasant visit to Nos Astra, Commander. That's why I haven't been here before, I'm pretty sure, so. Uh, Elium before. I don't think I did went to Elium in the first game. Just to talk to Garrus. We were always told that Ilium is one of the safest places in the galaxy until you fell off the grid. Sign the wrong contract, join up with the wrong company, or walk down the wrong alley, and it's as dangerous as anywhere else. Don't let this place fool you. It's no safer here than Omega. How can you short sell on two after Alright, so let's decide. Maybe we'll go talk to the other person and go like, hey, we got our assassinator guy. Actually, if we brought him along, maybe he'd say something. But we didn't bring him along. So rest in pepperonis. Alright, was there anything else here? Oh, there's Tana. I guess there really isn't much more here. Well, I'll talk to Tana. Excuse me. You know where I can find Serena? She's not here anymore. Oh, you're the one she was helping out. She took a job off-world. Didn't say where. She gave me something for you. Looks like a message. She didn't say anything else? She just gave me that and left. Not even a goodbye. Hey, Shepard. I was on my way to a new life when the new burst arrived. The bitch is dead. I assume that means your friend is alive and he finished his job. Tell him if I ever see him, I'll buy him a drink. Alright, well. This is it for that one. Ah, there's a place over here. Let's check out this area. Ilium is the gateway to the traverse. But is that gate open to one? Still a lot to do. Trust me, the goods coming in from the terminus systems are great for business. I don't know. Some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us. Is she Ella? No, I haven't had any luck yet. She insists it was legal. I don't know. I'm going to call in a favor and have a friend examine the contract. Shepard. I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it, and saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. How is Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however along with what was left of the Thorian. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again? Or did the Thorian somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zoo's hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive. And the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. What are you doing here on Ilium? Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans. But the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. Wait a minute. Shiala, you were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue, like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. 
I should have known it was too good to be true. But we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable. Which they have. Can they actually force these procedures on you? No. But they can declare us in breach of contract. Which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. What kind of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Sometimes the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontiers representative knows about the issue. Oh, another. We seem to be finding all these people that we kept alive in Mass Effect 1. What the fuck? Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem or. Did she kill somebody already? I have no idea. Just tell me where she is. If you insist, but fair warning, watch yourself around Samara. Justicars have a nasty habit of shooting people. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear, and a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases, and everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. Why are you worried about other species coming into contact with her? If a Justicar kills an Asari, none of us questions it. But if she killed a human... Do you think the Alliance would understand her actions and respect her authority? You can't even figure out your own religions. It's a big diplomatic incident just waiting to happen. Tell me about the Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, they're a lot like the Spectres undertaking personal missions. Spectres are authorized by the Council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's, like, I don't know a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. It's closer to a religious group than a legal branch. No law-abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain. And they die before breaking their oaths. I'm looking for Samara. Like I said, she's at the commercial spaceport. You can hail a cab at the pedestal on that balcony over there. Thanks for your help. Good luck with the Justicar. Try not to piss her off. Uh, we're not going to start that one yet. Although I'm interested in that one. That's kind of what I was trying to do before. Uh, we're going to talk to... Her, I guess. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. What's your problem with humans? Not just humans, it's all of you. The Salarians and Turians are no better. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Perhaps we could work out different tests. Something that will work for both sides. If the colonists were not willing to abide by the terms of the contract, they should not have signed it. The onus is not upon me to accommodate them. So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. Asari like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the embassy, the other was a greeter for the consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Your bondmate was with the Quarians. Your daughters work with aliens every day at the Embassy and the Consort. And look what happened to them! You've suffered, I get that. But these colonists were trying to live peacefully. They've suffered too. 
They lost family to the Geth and the Thorian creature. Don't add to their anguish. Sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. Oh, was easy. There was more dialogue there, but apparently not. Uh, I guess we'll just take the star charts. Fucking hell. Alright. Did you get the star charts? Yeah. I had to deal with Arinya, though. I feel like I need a shower. What do you expect? She's a pure blood. They're all like that. You did it. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus Hope again. I don't think I could have. Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? Would you rather the colonists all be dead? That would make it simpler. And you could have gunned down the slaves the Thorians sent against you. That would have been easier. But you took the harder path. So will I. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. All right, well, we're done dealing with Shrek now. Uh, let's go talk over there, I guess. So we want to wrap up some things over here before we start going to the Justicar. A hot piece of a sorry ass, what can I say? The store's over there, and don't get cute. The whole place is monitored. What? I don't get to tell you you have the best store in the Citadel? Uh... How about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? The Why fuck not? is this timer? I'm a specter. For example, you know that new drug, the one that causes permanent neural scarring? That's horrible. There's a 12 page contract for shipping, That's it. then a waiver for use. I charged for How many more times do I have to do that? <laughs> sorry, talk. Oh shit, this is a, just a random sorry here. I'm telling you, relax. Vax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Eclipse mercs, some just a car, I don't know. Nobody is ever going to see the extra merchandise. Which is why we're going to be rich. I'm on a call. I'm on a call. Her lips don't move. Ever. It's just... The store's over there. Alright. get cute. The whole place is monitored. Well, there's some damaged stuff. Amplifier plates. This is power damage by 5%. Is there anything else here? I, mean, I just want to have a look around. Oh, fish! And I don't want those because they're expensive. I don't have money. What do you want? Sorry. Sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. The Krogan is reading those love poems to get your attention? His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. Why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. It made me wonder if he really likes me. Or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know, because of the genophage. That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been a sorry. Not a sorry don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA. We're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. It doesn't seem common for a sorry to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy. Really smart. Especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. 
It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. We have to, uh, you should actually tell him to go back, because he comes back in a later game, I think. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him, so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. Oh, okay. And they're just completely gone. Oh. Cheaper, cheaper paddlefish. And I'm still not gonna use any more. What about a fish? She loves the garden. Weapons merchant. Yeah, so it there's no deal here. The store's over there. Oh, well. Don't get cute. The whole place is monitored. Alright. I kind of want the heavy weave, but I can't get that either. Oh well. Uh, secure station. This is the one over there. Gateway weapons and armor are good enough, Rick. Maybe a shirt. Or a card. Helium. Hey, you're blue shifting on. How many do we have to do of these? Asari skin color and the Doppler. What about you? Going to try and make it? Well, I don't think as much else we can do. Oh wait, cab console. Ah, oh, okay. Well, we're gonna do the cab next time. So uh, thanks for tuning in, guys, and uh, we'll uh, do the adjust a car later. All right, goodbye.